Hey, hello, my friends. Hope everybody is well today. I'm Paul Apollonia. Hope everybody is uh, good, doing good here. Been kind of delayed a little bit. Sorry, we're getting ready to downsize, hopefully to a smaller home, but everything else is good. All is good here. I'm going to show you today stadium giveaways selling on eBay. Totally blew my mind. Um, back Father's Day weekend, my son, uh, treated me to a couple games up in Baltimore against the Phillies. We went up, had a ball, and they were giving away a few things. And he said to me, you should sell those on eBay. Stadium giveaways sell really well. I had no idea, actually, that they sold really well. So I um, so I did. I'm going to show you what I sold. But real quick, before I forget, please don't forget to like this video. I really appreciate it. And please subscribe to my channel. Uh, i got 1,259 subscribers, I think. I think I just checked around there. Thank you so much for everyone that subscribed and liked the videos. And don't forget, if you subscribe, uh, hover over that subscribe button and click the all, then you'll get all my wonderful videos. Uh, I do a lot of eBay eBay is kind of my, my thing. I've been doing it for over 20 years. I also uh, run the uh, Raleigh eBay uh, meetup group, which we meet via Zoom 99.9% uh, .9 of the time on um, second Thursday of the month at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time till around 5. We get 10, 20 people in there normally. Um, I try and do a live event every once in a while, an in-person event. I'm getting so many people on Zoom that it's just Zoom seems like it's going to be the way it's going to be. And I'll maybe do special occasions as a live thing. I also do a lot of eBay training. Um, I actually had a really cool call. I trained a gentleman about 10 years ago on how to sell some of his stuff on eBay for his company. And he's taken that uh, and grown his company very, very large. And he called me up and wanted some additional training after 10 years. So that was uh, quite touching and humbling. Okay, so let's talk about stadium giveaways. Enough about me. Um, so we went Saturday, uh, went to the game, and then Sunday they were giving away, since it was Father's Day, they were giving away Baltimore Orioles caps. Um, <laughs> he said to me, man, you should sell these on eBay. And I'm like, these sell on eBay? So I did a quick search. Excuse me. And darn if he was not right. Let me... Um, they average. I'll show you what they uh, what the cap was. These are actually my listings. Uh, now I always tell people white background. Uh, let me. You don't need to see my ugly mug like this. That big. Um, white background. White background. Obviously, I was at. The, I figured. You know what? Screw this. I'm just going to list these right here at the stadium on my phone, which I rarely ever do. I usually like the my listing processes. Take find a sell similar. Save it on my phone, take pictures on my phone, and then um, do the rest on my computer. That's just it's just the way I've, it's it's I've always done it that way. It, I like big screens and big keyboards, and I'm old and whatever. But I did it all on my phone, so I was looking for a background. He was getting a beer, and, and I'm looking for a background. I say, how am I gonna? I couldn't find a white background, so that was out. So I saw this <laughs> I saw this banner thing between the men's and the ladies' room. And in the corner, there is a water fountain. I tried my best to crop that out. So I did it all. There's my hand. There's a hat. The interesting thing, thing about this hat is it's not sponsored. Like, there's no sponsor name. That's the manufacturer of the hat or something. Or whatever. But that is not a sponsor. So that probably made it even worth more. I looked at, basically, there's, just, see, there's a water fountain. <laughs> Basically, it's just basic pictures. Um, I probably should have taken a picture of the inside of the hat, but I didn't. I probably should have held it better, more open, but I, I didn't. And I looked at the average price. The average price is about $39. And these were up already, like, during the game. This is before the game, and they were already up. So I don't know how people got them up that fast. It looked like they were, the background was different anyway. But I priced it at $44.99. Now, I did not get $44.99 for these two that I had. He gave me his, and I frantically looked around the stadium for more. I saw two people with with, with them, and I asked them. I said, no, I didn't want to keep them. I even asked all the Phillies fans. 
and I'm from Philly. We're pretty hardcore. They didn't have them. They probably gave them to somebody as they walked in or they didn't want it as they walked into the stadium. Um, so I got, um, I sold, I put this one up during the game, right when the game started and we drove home that night and on our way home, I got an offer for 33 or 35 99, probably, I think it was 33, not $33 I got for it. I'm doing free shipping. I'm not a huge fan of free shipping. Um, but everybody else is doing free shipping and it was very, very light. The item was, I think it was still under a pound with even the little box I had for it. I accepted that offer and it went right back up to Baltimore when I got home. About five days later, I sold the other one for $35. One sold for $33 and one sold for $35. Um, sold the other one for like $35 and that went right back up to Baltimore too, in the area in Maryland. So stadium giveaways do sell. Keep your eye out on them when you're at the stadium. I didn't even wear this thing, obviously, because I was wearing my grandfather cap, which I'm now a grandfather, grandparents, or grandparents after three weeks old, going to be four weeks old. Yay. Um, but they do sell. Uh, I, I did this years and years and years and years ago. I, I totally forgot about it. We went to a Phillies game way back, probably about 10 years ago up in Philadelphia. Um, and we grabbed a bunch of these. I don't know if they were giveaway autograph. I don't know what they were. I have no idea. Sheets of something. I have no idea what they were. Some player, some old retired player. And we grabbed a, we must have walked away with 50 of those things. And I sold a few of those and it kind of got lost in my inventory, but I, I didn't make much money off of them. I'll tell you what else, what else also sells. Um, I have not sold any of these yet. And honestly, I don't know if I'm going to even sell these because I tell people all the time when I'm training them and we're talking eBay, I sell anything and everything, even if I can sell this, whatever, this pen for $2 or whatever. It's a lot of work. And as I'm downsizing and going through inventory and actually getting rid of a lot of inventory in preparation for possible move, um, I can't be doing that anymore. I, I, I got, <laughs> I got to at least set some kind of limit because I've got a lot of inventory that I've never listed. To be honest with you, we all have that problem. Our death pile. I like to call it a money pile because it's money just sitting there and not doing with anything with. But what else? Also, <coughs> excuse me. What I saw when we were at, um, I'll just bring up this this cup here. I got about four of these. I can sell them in groups. Uh, let's see, there's seven, seven dollars plus shipping. Okay. I might do that. All depends how fast it sells. Uh, here's the that's the regular stadium cup. That's the one that um, I probably got about ten of those and about six of these other ones. Yes. Um, we ran around collecting cups and dumped whatever was in them out. It's kind of weird, but that's you know. Here's $9.99. That's the same cup, isn't it? Oh, no, it's a different cup. He's swinging differently, it looks like. Or No, that's somebody else. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like <laughs> not paying attention. Uh, I guess it all depends. These are different cups. So about, let's say, 7 bucks plus shipping. Eh, I got four of them if they sell. That's not bad. But stadium giveaways do sell. Keep an eye out on them for them when you're at the stadium. Grab them. If you want to use them, that's great. If not, there's always money out there. I was shocked and blown away that I actually made $60 off of two caps that I obviously would never really wear. So um, keep an eye out on, on those real quick. Um, I, I basically did a sell similar of someone else's listing. I really didn't even change hardly anything on this listing. Um, I left the title the way it is. That's obviously the acronym for stadium giveaways. That's what he said. Hey, put uh, SGA in the uh, title. Like he hasn't sold a, he hasn't sold a ton on eBay, but he knows some stuff. So <laughs> I have no idea what OS means. I couldn't tell you. Um, but that's it. Father's Day, two thousand twenty-four. Basically, it's just all the pertinent information. Like I said, free shipping. Um, little tip for shipping these things. Some of these people are very, when I mean anal, I mean whatever the term is, they're very particular with their caps. Do not put this in an envelope. Do not put this in a plastic envelope. 
put this in a box. What I did was I put it, I put this in a, um, a clean place, of grocery bag and then put it in a box that it fit into a small box. It was tight, but it was in a small box. Don't bend the bill up trying to get it in a box. Do not put it in something where the hat will not get crushed unless something runs it over. Um, people collect these hats. They're very particular with their caps today. Um, if it's a straight bill, leave it straight. Don't try and bend it. I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of the bent bill. I'm not a big, the, what they call it, lid or something when it's flat. Um, just make sure you ship it properly. Get the smallest box it'll fit in. It should go out. What used to be called first class under a pound. I think it's called ground now. Uh, post office. And I think these went out at about $5 or $6 a piece. So it wasn't bad. I still made like, I made like 20, like, let's even say $27 each on stuff that was a giveaway. Um, let's see what else. I left the spe item specifics the way they were. I think I may have added one or two from my phone. Oop, almost knocked over my coffee. That would have been great. Um, and that's basically all I put in there. I normally do a, excuse me, a copy and paste of the title into the description, but it did not because it was on my phone and I just was kind of haven't done anything from my phone in a while like that. But that is it. Pretty simple. Um, when I sold it, I shipped it out the next day. Everybody was happy. And uh, that is about it. So, hey, don't forget, again, like the, uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel. Appreciate it. Check out the, all the links below in the uh, description of the video. It has about the meetup and other things I do. I also uh, got a lot of sponsors for the, for the meetup, Bubble Fast, which is a great company. Their link is in there. Shipping Supplies List Perfectly, which is a, another great company. Um, yeah, they uh, basically you put all your items into List Perfectly into their application. And you can propel them out to different platforms, eBay, Etsy, um, tons and tons of platforms. Um, and I also, um, my reseller genie, which helps with your taxes with eBay and other online venues. So check all those out. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I appreciate it. Hope you learned something from this. And keep an eye out for those stadium giveaways. Heck, I'm sure even um, you can get them for cheap and resell them again on eBay or find them on somewhere, Facebook Marketplace and resell them. But keep an eye out for stadium giveaways. They do sell. Kind of thought it was funny. You guys have a great day. Stay cool. I know it's summertime. It's supposed to be hot. But um, I love the hot weather. I love any season. Okay. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Steve with Rake and Prof, and I'm here with Paul. And I just want to shoot a quick testimonial for him because he's been one of my good friends for over what four or five years yeah, now yeah and if you're looking to learn about selling on ebay and you want to start a side hustle or you just want to make some money flipping stuff on ebay you're in great hands paul's been doing this for a long time he's helped a ton of people and i put my full faith and trust in him so paul i appreciate you you bet thank you so much you got it